Hi, this is Maria from Kinder Craze, and today I'm going to show you how I find a new font online. I download it to my computer, and then um, the important and more difficult part is installing it in the right location on my Mac so that I can go ahead and use this and access it from my word processing programs. Um, just a quick note, this is an instructional video for Mac users. I created a separate one for PC users, so if you have a Windows-based machine, this is not the recording for you. You're going to want to go and find my other video. Okay, so right now the font I'm going to get um, is from a really popular site called Lettering Delights. I'm going to go to Lettering. They sell all kinds of products here, um, graphics and fonts and all kinds of stuff. Um, within lettering, I'm going to do that again, I want fonts. And my thing is I have to filter it. I'm going to be using this font on products that I create and resell, so I need to get a commercial license from them. And I'm going to scroll down to the one I want to purchase from Lettering Delights. It didn't work, it's not commercial. Oh, it's all lettering and I want fonts. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And this is the one I want, Doodle Tipsy. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And after I click on it, I'm going to add it to my cart. Before I do, here's a good chance it's telling me that this one here is a commercial license when they have terms of use for their commercial products. So make sure you read the terms of use before you download something commercially so you know how to use it properly. Um, but before I pay $13 for a font, they also offer the exact same font for personal use that's only $3. So make sure you choose the font that's best for you. I want the commercial one. I'm going to add it to my cart. It has been added to my cart, so I'm just going to go up and view my cart. And right now I'm going to go on my own, go through the process of completing my purchase and downloading the font to my computer. I will see you in one second after I finish my purchase when I'm ready to go ahead and install it to the right location. So I'll be back with you in just a few seconds. Okay, so I just downloaded, I just ordered my new font and I'm about ready to download it. Um, this is the area that I'm looking at. It, on different sites it'll look a little bit different, but I'm going to go ahead and click on the zip file for the font that I want. And I need to save it. And it's going to go right into my downloads folder. So I'm going to go into downloads. I'm going to open it in Finder. And that was called IDC Doodle Tipsy. So I have to scroll up. Let's see if I can find it. IDC Doodle Tipsy. And it's a zip file, so I need to unzip it. Just double click on it and unzips itself. And then it gave me a new folder. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Here's my font. I'm just um, grabbing it. Well, let me do this first. I'm grabbing my font from somewhere. Grabbing my font, and I'm just going to dump it onto my desktop. Easy enough. Also, if you try to open it, um, it's it's going to try and... You need to put it in your font book. Right now, it's already prompting me to open my font book. I'm going to click OK, but if, you, if this prompt doesn't come up automatically for you, you can just go to your search and do font book, and that'll open it up the same way. But since it wants to do it for me, I'm going to go ahead and let it, and I'm going to click OK. Here is my new font, and all I have to do is click Install Font. Here's Doodle Tipsy. And hopefully, if I go in Word, and I want to use my font, choose blank file. They should be able to scroll down. These are in alph alphabetical order. 
it's not in here yet. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to take Doodle Tipsy and I'm going to save it to my computer. Multiple copies are installed. That's just fine. Um, it might not let me use it. It might. It probably isn't even going to pull it up quite yet. It is not going to pull it up. So what I need to do is I need to just restart Word. I'm going to um, quit Word and then restart Word. It can be a blank document. That's just fine. Scroll down. No tipsy. It's not here. Okay, it took me a second, but I figured out what my problem was and why it wasn't showing up in Word. Um, the word off had been in this spot right here, so all that I needed to do was click on Doodle Tipsy. Um, I actually right clicked and um, I clicked on Validate Font. And when I clicked on that, it somehow turned it back on and allowed me to use it. So now I can go into Microsoft Word and Doodle Tipsy is one of my font options. And I can make whatever set I want. This is Doodle Tipsy font. Simple. Um, usually it'll happen right away easily for you on the first try, but occasionally there are little glitches and I found my glitch that moment. But hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, good luck installing your own fonts.